What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Fishing the Northwest. I'm your host, Jack Snowzer. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of like my tackle box, um, like what I have on a man on a, like an everyday basis, pretty much. What I b- spend most of my money on on tackle, and what I usually always carry. So, without further ado, let's dig in. So, right off the bat, we on the top. This is like the mandatory stuff I throw. I got a couple knives, fish strainer I never really use. Just some random swim baits and JC lures and stuff like that. I got in small baits in here. I got got a knife and then some real grease and braking systems for my Shimano's in case anything ever breaks while I'm out in the water. That is the first part. That's what I mainly use. That's always in there. Second part open up this this is all my soft plastics pretty much and some other mandatory st- stuff that i need like you got pliers always got to have sunflower seeds when you're out in the water except i don't know how old these are these might not be good but got some just small drop head hooks and stuff in there got a scale flashlight for night fishing more sinkers perel got band-aids in here but uh yeah i got like rage tail crawl like these are all my soft plastics so crawls trailers uh swim baits um these top water toads soft plastic stuff more trailers kitex stuff like that all crawls my beavers and stuff like that so all soft plastics that you can think of are in here got gamblers so what else is in here oh the only time i buy um Senko's is Strike King just because of their quality of baits and their, I like the color of the, especially the black and blue ones. Those are really good. So that is really the only time I will purchase uh, baits or lure, um, worms. I uh, got some Buddha baits from an MTB. More craws down there. Those swim baits at the top I showed you. More uh, like four or five packs of uh, Gambler Big Easies. A ton and ton of JC lures. Like this isn't even my whole inventory. Like I got just a couple chilling on my desk and stuff. A couple bags full of them. So, and then I got some in like my garage or something like that. But these are mainly I always have these fat BPS worms and like there's some Giliana Moto stuff down there. But that is the main section of the top. It's just some baits. Oh, there's uh. That PNC thing with the band aids in there. Always gotta go have good safety. We got one more gambler, we got some zoom. Oh, yeah, my finesse stuff right there. All that stuff. So let's put this back. Alright, who cares? I'll just organize this again. Put that in there. So, yeah, I, this is not all my tackle. Um, this is what usually I just bring out on the water with me most of the time. So, this is not all of it. This is just majority. This is probably, my, this is my swim bait and like more soft plastics. Like I got, um, let's see, let's just go fluff. We got some like yum worms in here that I don't really use. Like I think this is a yum dinger, something like that, urban tail. Um, we got some cool looking crawdads. Never use these. Probably should start using them. Good, look good. Big uh, swim baits. I've don't. I, my grandparents purchased me those, so I don't really. Use, I haven't used that. Oh, uh, we got um, DOA shrimp. Really excited to throw these. I I purchased them. Didn't really throw them, but now I've seen people use, like uh, people like Lawson Lindsay slay with these. So I'm excited. I got this canal. I want to try out. Throw these in there. Should work. Uh, I got a pit boss and a uh, kind of like a not a glide bait, but it's like a glide bait swim bait thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, just like a treble hook on the bottom though. It's not really good hookup. Have had have had that for a while. More swim baits like Havocs and stuff like that. Of that like I've um, got some grubs in there. Real tiny like paddle bait. Paddle tail swim baits, those are good for like um, trailers, kind of. Oh, grubs that I use for crappie, um, stuff like that. I got this one pond that slay, those slay there. Some more like wacky rig uh, Sankos and uh, weedless stuff. 
Got a crab, tubes, underspins, and uh, like minnow things. Um, these craws, JC Lures also makes these. We kind of stopped making them, but we could make them again. Look pretty cool. Good trailer bait right there. Um, and then just some more stuff and uh, beetle spin. So that is my soft plastic stuff. Next, we got top water, which is probably one of my best. I love throwing top water. This isn't even all of it, but because I got like a frog uh, tied on over there, the defender is my best one, my spro. Left to right again, we got some poppers, more poppers, stuff like that. These are smaller ones, these are bigger ones. Uh, we got a spitting wall over to see, and then we got a popper underneath there. Um, I have never really used this. This is one of those like scum frogs, I think. I've got the I've got one of these when I was like a child. Uh we got a whopper plopper and a live target uh sunfish, some real smaller poppers, uh one of those head and torpedoes, and another small popper. Uh two booyah frogs, one of them is poppin' frog. I think it's the yeah, it's one of the poppin' frog. And we got some more booyahs right there. Um, this is a, uh, what's the name of this? Lunker Hunt. Some skirts. Another little popper thing. Uh, we got a buzz bait and a super spook. Some crickets and more crickets. Some popping crickets. So that is pretty much most of my top wire. That's not all of it. I, I like to throw, uh, River to Sea, Booyah. Spro and live target as my frogs. Those are my main. Um, I like KVD frogs. Those look pretty cool too. So that is my frogs, and top mainly top. That's all top water. Next we have crankbait. Yeah, this is a big box too. Something that has really increased over the past few years. We got. These are all my musky and um, pike lures. We got like meps and stuff in there, a bunch of big treble hooks. Um, sh real small, shallow diving crankbaits I got for like crappie and stuff. These are my medium diving crankbaits. We got like a, what is this? Uh, oh, what's Lucky Craft. Uh, some two off brand names that but they work really good. We got a spinner bait in here. It's gold bladed. And we got some more spoons for a pike. And stuff like that. Uh, more crankbaits. I forget. These are like this one's deep diving kind of. This and then these two are medium. Uh, we got lipless cranks in here. A bunch of those. Uh, some little spinners and stuff like that. Don't use them that much. Probably one of my favorite stuff to throw is uh, jerk baits. Good all year round bait or good uh, spring and fall bait. Um, this is my favorite, one of my favorites. I got, I got two of these. One's in a different color, but these are the Ima Flicks. We got some Bomber Long A's, uh, Rapala somewhere. It's not in here. It's in, outside, I'm pretty sure. But Bomber Long A's and a Savage Gear 1. Deep, deep diving crankbaits. That's like 10, 16 feet or something like that. I have no idea what these are. Never you. This is my, uh, Chatterbait. Yeah, finesse Jig and Swim Jig. Love throwing jigs. More jigs right here. We got a flipping jig and a uh, grass jig. These are not all my jigs, but that's a good selection of them. Pretty much all of them except a uh, football head, which I actually broke off on a w little while back. Oh, uh, I forget the name of this. What is the name? I know it's made by Storm. It's like a wobbler or something. They actually, they're really light and they actually catch fish. I've caught fishing up, up in Canada on these. And some smaller husky jerks and bat like rapalas and stuff like that. Like bass colored, perch colored one, and there's a clear one back there. And then we got some more tubes and uh these are for uh oh what are these? Uh I forget the name of them. Uh it's some it's like uh, steelheads I think. Or like I think it's steelheads what we use. There's like a yellow um chartreuse and red thing back there. Use those for steelheads. I kind of remember when I was down at fishing the uh, Potomac. And lastly, we got my terminal tackle. This is 
all my hooks pretty much and weights and all that stuff. So we got some 20 pound wire leader for uh, pike and musky fishing that I'll be doing up in Canada. Just some hooks and stuff like that. Nothing too special. Oh, uh, just an extra some small sinkers. I've had a lot of bobbers from when I was a kid. Uh, these are my punching stuff. Got a black and blue punch skirt. Uh, green um, green pumpkin punch skirt, and then the rest are all replacement skirts. Those are all black and blue. In here, we got all my trocar hooks. We got a uh, frog hook for those like Stanley Rupert frogs. We got a big swim bait hook, weighted swim bait hook with a screw on thing. Uh, that's five out, one fourth ounce, I believe. And then I'm not going to take them out right now because I'm not going to take them off this ringer thing they came with. But uh, we got the uh, TK 130s and 135s in there. Really, really sharp hooks. Let's see if it focuses. Hold on. Yeah, it's not going to focus, but those are all my hooks. Trocar hooks. Love throwing those. Uh, we got shark, um, these are for my surf fishing weights, the double rig, J bunch of jig head hooks, got a, just a random hook lying around, uh, shaky head, um, shark hooks, or like, yeah, shark hooks, or, uh, surf fishing hooks, wide gap, uh, weedless hooks, and just some spin, like, um, blades and stuff, more sinkers, we got, um, a wacky rig, uh, some tungsten, and a, uh, bobber stopper. Uh, bass hooks, like worn hooks and stuff like that. Uh, trailer hooks also in here. Another bobber. We got my drop shot. Um, another surf fishing hook. And some lead weights that, uh, for bass that I have not, bullet weights that I have not used in a long time. Some more bobbers and yeah. So that is pretty much my whole, like, bait day-to-day T basic tackle that I spend. Um, I didn't go in into it in that grave detail, but I thought it was a. Uh, I thought it, I have a lot. Most majority of my money that I spend is on uh, soft plastics, like not probably like eighty percent soft plastics and top water. I got a lot of soft plastics, trailers, stuff like that. This is uh, as I said before. This is not all of my selection. I got some stuff lying in the garage. A couple. Of, like I got a jerk bait tied on that pole and stuff, a bunch of stuff back tied on like back there. But that is not all my stuff. So hopefully you guys had a happy new year. Um, keep fishing. See you guys.